Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be a Project 10 Pan video where I select 10 items from my makeup collection that I am going to be trying to pan. I'm going to make this a rolling Project 10 Pan throughout the rest of 2018, so for about a little bit over six months, and I'm going to see how many items I can actually complete by doing that. I did have a two-month-long Project Pan going on, my, going on on my channel that was like finish eight or finish ten finish seven in spring um but i kind of decided to give that up just because i feel like i didn't put enough thought into the products that i was gonna be using for that and then, then i got really sick and wasn't um putting makeup on at all for about two weeks and then i was on vacation and i was using products that anyway i'm gonna be doing a rolling project 10 pan instead throughout the rest of the year some of the items that i had included in that project i have decided to move over to this project and i won't even be finishing that project i may even take the vid down i'm gonna be doing this project as well as continuing on in my finish 18 in 2018 if you're interested in watching my playlist for that series if you will um, i will leave both linked down below but other than that, if you're interested in seeing the 10 products that I'm going to be starting this project out with, then just keep watching. All right, guys, so I actually have three foundations that I'm going to be including. Two of them probably have just a few uses left, but I never reach for these anymore, which is why I want to include them in this project. The first is the Urban Decay All Nighter Foundation. I have mine in the shade 1.5. I probably haven't used this foundation in a good year. Just because the last time I used it, it oxidized on me so incredibly much. I was horrified. And then when I first bought this, I wasn't as experienced, if you will, in makeup. So I didn't realize that people with dry skin wouldn't necessarily like a matte foundation. And yeah, I just don't necessarily love this foundation. So I kind of just want to finish using it before it goes bad. Um, so I don't feel like I totally wasted my money. Um, but I did use this pretty consistently for a while. That's why I said I don't think there's a ton of product left in this. So this is the first product I'm including. And then I'm also including this Bare Minerals Complexion Rescue Tinted Hydrating Gel Cream. This is in the shade Buttercream, which is their third shade. I also have Vanilla, their second shade. But this is the one that I'm going to be including. I figured this, I figured this would be a good one for the summer because it is a tinted hydrating foundation. Tinted foundation? Tinted moisturizer anyway i used to love this last summer i recently used this again though and wasn't so fond of it i did actually just include this in a video about products i've changed my mind about i think that's on my channel i don't know if i posted that yet anyway and that is going to be or has already been in my products i've changed my mind about so i just want to finish this up and get this out of my collection and then another foundation that i'm including is the makeup forever ultra hd i have mine in the shade y235 I don't know that this is the best color match for me, and this is one of the first high-end foundations that I ever purchased. This is one that's just getting old, and I need to use it up. I do like this foundation and would consider buying it again once I go through more foundations in my collection, but I just need to use this up. It's going to go bad soon, and I probably won't repurchase it right away. So this is, again, another foundation that I'm including. One of the items that I was going to include in my Spring 7 pan is this... MAC, um, is the MAC Painterly Paint Pot. This is what mine looks like right now. As you can tell, you can see um, the majority of the jar down below. So I don't have a ton of this product left, but you don't need a lot of this product each time that you use it. So it's still going to take me probably a good while to get through this. But I've had this again in my collection for so long that it's going to go bad very soon here. So I just need to finish this up and then move on. This is one, too, that I would consider repurchasing because this, I think, is a really good eyeshadow base, primer, whatever. Another product that I was going to include in my Spring 7 was the Too Faced Born This Way Concealer. This is an okay concealer, but not one that I will repurchase, so I just want to use this up before I open other concealers. I have one eyeshadow that I want to include. This is Urban Decay Toasted. As you can tell, you can already see pan in mine. I just never reach for my single shadows though. So I do really like this shade, but I just want to use this up and kind of get it out of my collection. I kind of want to, I almost just want to declutter all of my single shadows, but at the same time I don't. So we're just going to try and use them up. <clears throat> I also thought it would be fun to include the Cover FX Custom Enhancer Drops. This is in sunlight. I have quite a few of these, and I really like these. I figured summertime would be a good time to start using these again and to try and get through them, but I thought it'd be fun if I was able to get through these because these come with 0.5 fluid ounces, and you only need, like, a little droplet on each side 
and by droplet I mean like just a dot or two on each side to get the effect that you're looking for so we'll see how this goes but I thought this would be a fun one to include and then I have three lip products to end with they're all minis the first is the Tarte H2O gloss in Bora Bora this is what this looks like I just recently got this in a Sephora lip kits and this is one that I feel like I'll only use in the summertime so I want to get use out of it before summer is over and then I'm also including this Tarte Rainforest of the Sea Mini in Mars. I absolutely am obsessed with this. Um, so why would I want to use it up? But this is how much product I have in it. This is like one of my go-to lipsticks and I don't wear lip products that much. So I thought this was one that was like realistic. Like I actually could potentially use this up. So we shall see. And then finally I'm also including this Bite mini in cashew i have two of these so i figured this would be a good one to include just because hello i need to start using them and this is what this looks like it's another really pretty just nude this is a little bit more brown than that mars shade so i thought you know what i use neutral products when i use lip products so let's toss a couple in and see if i can get some good use out of them after that that is going to conclude all of the 10 items that i'm currently including in my rolling project 10 pan i will try and do updates on these every single month if you guys are doing any project panning right now let me know leave links to your videos let me know what products you're trying to pan i have been having so much fun with the project panning this year so it's been really really fun to kind of push myself and see what products i can actually get through but other than that you guys if you haven't already subscribed to my channel don't forget to do so before you go and I'll see you guys in my next video bye